Am I the asshole? For telling my niece she'll have to move out if she's not my nanny anymore? I'm a single mom to two kids eight six. I work as a nurse. Three days a week, I work 12 hour shifts 12 p.m. 12 a.m. After my husband passed, I needed a nanny to tend to my kids from the time they got off school 3 p.m. onwards. I decided a live-in was the best choice. I have one guest bedroom. I live right near a university. Around this time, my niece had just gotten accepted. She wanted to save cost on dorms and offered to watch my kids those three days, if she could live there rent free. I agreed, and said I'd also pay her $22 hour a competitive rate for our area. She's done with her classes by one, so it works out. She fixes them dinner and puts them to bed. Then she's free to do whatever. But of course I pay her from 3 p.m. 12.30 a.m. It worked for two years. My niece never had any complaints. Now, however, my niece is getting a paid internship related to her major that starts in January. She wouldn't be available to watch my kids. I congratulated her and said I could help her look into student housing or an apartment. We'd have three months to do this. She was confused. I said since I would need a live-in and only have one guest room, she would have to move out. My niece got upset and said this isn't fair, she won't be able to save any money if she gets a dorm or an apartment she could afford to live on her own, but wouldn't have much savings. I pointed out that this would work best for me as I had to put my kids in aftercare the other two days I work I get off around 5 and the nanny could just pick them up from school versus them having to stay there so long. My niece argued that the nanny could leave at the end of her shift but after speaking to some nannies, they understandably don't want to drive home so late. Plus, I'm fine with the nanny and my niece sleeping after the kids do. So, there's no sense in them sleeping then waking up and driving so drowsy. Even I feel nervous driving home so late, especially after my long shift. My sil her mom feels this is unfair to my niece but she moved in under the condition that she'd work as a nanny. My sil and brother live three hours away, so niece couldn't commute if she moved back in with them. They feel I should try to find a nanny who'd be willing to drive home at 12.30 a.m. It would take me a half hour minimum to get home, but all nannies I've spoken to have said no or expressed concern about their safety driving so late. Am I the asshole? Edit to answer from FAQ The internship is all semester long. My niece isn't interested in nannying at all going forward and will instead be pursuing internships. She has no desire to work after her internship is over for the day. She knew from the jump that I was only looking for a live in specifically for childcare. I have also provided her written notice and am covering my ass legally. Not the asshole she fully knows she moved into a room that was intended for a nanny. As she fulfilled that role for two years. It is unfair for her to now demand a change to the arrangement. Especially since this would be at a heavy cost to you. They are also an adult who has been paid a nice hourly rate between 3 p.m. and 12 a.m., without any rent being charged. What were they doing with that money? After two years they could have something set aside. Tuition isn't cheap but wholly have they squandered a great opportunity if they can't be ready to move out in three months. Not the asshole at all. I'd go for the jugular and ask them why they feel a widowed single mother who's just trying to hold it all together is obligated to provide their adult daughter with free housing. I'm surprised you were paying her as much as you were considering the free housing. Not the asshole. The living arrangement was for the nanny, a position that your niece was filling. It was not made for your niece, specifically. If your niece is quitting the nanny job, then that means she is also giving up the accoutrements that came with it. It sounds like she is misremembering or just plain rewriting the terms of the arrangement to suit herself. Regardless, this is a problem that she has created for herself through wrong assumptions and lack of planning. Stand your ground it's her problem to solve, not your burden to shoulder. Not the asshole. I doubt you will find an nanny willing to work those hours and then drive home late at night. Start interviewing and make it clear to your niece she has to be gone by the time the new nanny starts. 
she is a big girl she can live in halls with the other students. Not the asshole. You need to get a lawyer to draft an official move-out document with a 30-day date. Her parents are going to tell her to just stay and call your bluff because far Miley. Don't let her screw you and your kids over. Not the asshole. A mutually beneficial arrangement has come to a natural end. Not the asshole. They feel I should try to find a nanny who'd be willing to drive home at 12.30 a.m. or they could pay for their kid to live somewhere else. You gave her free rent for two years, since you paid her to work as a nanny. Not the asshole she had a double great deal you gave housing and competitive pay. Now she's moving on but doesn't want to give up free housing such a shame she and her mother are being childish and don't understand you need the room for the next nanny. Natar. So you need to find a nanny that doesn't want to live with you. This would upset your whole lives. Your nice agreed to be the nanny if she could live rent free and get be a your paid nanny. Now she wants to end your agreement and wants you to sacrifice your family routine so she doesn't have to change anything in her life. Tell her you will be charging $1,000 a month plus utilities and food if she stays. Is your whole family so self-centered? It is your job to put your children and your life before what niece and sister want. Stand up or be walked on your choice. Not the asshole. You agreed to let her live with you while she was your nanny. She's now trying to continue to live with you rent-free, while preventing you from having space for a nanny. Not the asshole. You are supporting your children. Your niece's parents need to support their child. You hired her for a job that included a place to live. She's leaving the job, the place is no longer hers. If she worked at Valmart and quit, she would no longer be able to drink the free coffee in the break room. She had a good situation, but she is choosing a different option, which is reasonable for her career, but it isn't your job to house her. Natar. You've been paying her $600 a week, plus free food and housing, for two years, and she's not been able to save anything? Not the asshole aside from free housing, she was paid an overly fair wage that most would consider livable income totally depends on area of course. If she did not manage her personal finances properly, it would be difficult to make this transition but that's not Op's fault. Ultimately, the niece may find herself in a bind but has no right to point the finger at anyone but herself for not creating an emergency fund. It almost comes across as entitlement, because it's her situation that's changing not Op's. Not the asshole. She moved in with a specific understanding that the terms would be mutually beneficial. She changed the terms and the agreement is no longer mutually beneficial. So she lives elsewhere. Seems clear. Not the asshole. She is quitting her job so she loses her room board benefit. What if she nannied for a stranger? Would she and her parents expect the former employer to continue to give her free room board? Your niece, brother and Syl are being greedy and selfish. Your only concern is your children not your niece. She has two parents to help her. Your kids only have you. Hire a live in nanny and move niece out. Not the asshole. She entered an agreement with terms, so she should not be surprised to be bound by them.